learning objective for this session is, of course, to define your strategic planning, which is part of your management accounting. Identify the benefits of strategic planning. What makes a strategic planning successful or what are the factors for a successful strategic planning? And of course, uh, when do we do strategic planning or when can it be done? Uh, the drawbacks or let's say the disadvantage or the downfall of your strategic planning. And of course, we will tackle your strategic planning process. O although it's not the whole process because if we talk about the whole process per se, it will take us more than one hour. I'll just be showing you an overview of the planning process, okay? And planning on management accounting. So what topic in your management accounting is directly related to your planning, okay? Or your strategic planning, okay? So let us start with your strategic planning definition. Your strategic planning is the process of documenting and establishing a direction of your business or your small business and by assessing both where you are and where you are going. In strategic planning, you are identifying or you are looking where your company is right now or where you are right now as a company. Let us say I am entity ABC. As an entity, where am I currently in the market? Okay, ilan ang market share ko currently? Am I a new entrant? Kung new entrant ako, ano yung mga strategies ko? Ano yung mga plano ko? If I'm already, let's say, 10 years in the marketplace, ano naman ngayon ang strategies ko? Anong babaguhin ko so that I can maintain my market share, I can further increase my market share instead of maintaining it. Okay? So you are looking at who you are today and you are looking at who you wanted to be in the future as an entity, of course. Okay. Now, your strategic plan will give you a place to record your mission. So, pakisulat mo to, no? It will give you a place where you can record or recognize your mission. What else? Your vision. What else? And your values, okay? Your strategic plan will give you a place to record your mission, vision, and values as well as your long-term goal and the action plans that you will need to do in order to reach your goals. Okay? The next one to, for you to have a good or a successful strategic plan is to understand your culture. What's the culture of the entity? What's the culture of the industry? Okay? Working with your culture rather than fighting it can go a long way way towards aligning and moving your organization forward. So you have to understand what is my current situation, where we are right now, what is our current culture, what is our current philosophy, what do we believe in, and what do we believe will happen in the future? Or what will be future, are there any future changes? Okay, what will be uh, the changes in the future culture of the entity or culture in the industry as a whole. Parang yung nangyari lang sa biglang transformation into information technology. Dati lahat manual. So, the culture is always on a manual basis. Now, the culture suddenly changed. Nung nag-boom ang information technology industry, what happened? Accounting naging system, uh, nagkaroon ng system. Although not everything is done by the system, meron ka pa rin mga bookkeeper, may accountant ka pa din, di ba? What else? The processes in the manufacturing industry. Yung process na dati, kayang-kaya gawin ng tao mo or ng labor force mo ngayon, kaya lang gawin ng machine. So, ano nangyari, di ba? Nagkaroon ng change, nagkaroon ng adaptation. So, you also have to know and you also have to um, check what will be future changes in the culture? What will be, um, or how will you be adapting with those changes? Next, successful strategic plan factor is your leadership. A good leader will give you a successful strategic plan. Okay? Let us say during the pandemic. During the pandemic, if your leader is very reactive, wala na siyang ginawa kundi ano ba yan, puro pandemic, ay ano ba yan, ano ba yan, di ba? hindi na siya umisip kung paano makakabangon yung company, that will not give you a good strategic plan. And at the same time, ang leader siya dapat ang nag initiate okay, ng strategic plan. Of course, with the help of the staffs, okay, with the help of the assistants, the other managers in the team. So, the leaders can't force change, can, can't force, I should say, cannot force change, but they can guide, okay, 
towards a change. That means leading from the front, okay, and modeling the way. So you also have to do the same. Hindi yung magdidictate ka lang. Ikaw mismo gawin mo. Okay, ipakita mo sa kanila how are we going to do it? When are we going to do it? Next one is unwavering discipline. The commitment to achieving a strategic goal is still not enough. You also need your execution or simply you also need your implementation. Your successful execution means having the discipline necessary to achieve your goal and make sustainable behavioral change. The next one will be your transparency. Okay? It is essential that your people embrace the strategic plan as their own plan. Okay, meaning your employee, your manager, it's as if it is their own plan, not only the plan of an entity. Okay, so you all have to be in congruence. The plan of the entity, the plan of a department, the plan of the employee should be one and the same. Okay, feeling that, okay, meaning if the plan of a certain employee is not also the plan of the entity or a certain plan of a department is not congruent to the plan of the entity, what will happen? You're asking your employees to be more com employees to be more committed to your goal uh, on your own, okay? It will be hardly very realistic for you to reach your target, specifically the target of the organization, not your own target, okay? The next one, successful strategic plan needs a monitoring, measurement, and feedback. So as you implement, you have to check if everything is in place, is it working well? Is it not? Okay. What will be your key performance indicator? Is my key performance indicator solely the revenue? How about the cost? And what is the feedback? When you talk about feedback, do not ask only feedback from customer. You also ask feedback from your employee because this is also important feedback that you need to know as a leader or as a top management or as a part of a strategic planning team. And last one, anchoring the change in company culture. Recognize small wins, reward your people, reinforce the positive result of your strategic initiative. And if you do so, you will go a long way to taking strategy and change from just what you do to being who you will be or to where you will be, okay? So, very important ang adaptation natin and of course, acknowledgement of the different efforts of your staff as well. Hindi naman pwedeng, bakit ikaw lang bang ba gumawa nun? Ikaw lang ba na nasa top management? Hindi naman, di ba? Sino ba ang nag-serve? Sino bang nag-manufacture? Yung nasa production. Sino ba nag-serve? Yung nandun sa front lines natin, okay? So, your strategic planning process. Punta tayo dito. Strategic planning process. Your strategic planning process, okay, um, these have three main phases. You have your discussion, development, and review and updating, okay? And the goal of your strategic planning process is to ensure that everyone in the business is aligned when it comes to your business goals and objectives meaning ako alam ko ano ba bakit ko ba to ginagawa okay so bakit ba ako nagiging part i should know okay i should know all right so let's start with the different process so the process that i wrote here is generally four processes tama ba four processes or three sige determine strategic position so, similar sa tinatakal natin kanina, you should know where you are at this point in time. Okay? This is also part of your discussion phase. You discuss where you are, what is your um, trend for the last 5 years, for the last 10 years. Is it increasing? Revenue mo ba? A fluctuating ba yan? So, you know what to do in the future. As well as your current state or position in the market. In the industry or in the market, ito yung share ko. What is my target? Is my target to maintain the sh uh, market share or to increase my market share? And to increase my market share, what will be my plan? Yun na yung susunod. You develop now your strategy. Okay? 
So as you also determine your strategic position, you also identify your strength, your weaknesses, opportunities, your threats. So gumagawa ka ng SWOT analysis. Analyze mo yung competitive advantage mo. And you create or you identify areas where you can create competitive advantage. Now, after identifying those, you now develop strategy. When you say strategy, yan na yung mga specific na gagawin mo. Although it is general, okay? General pa yan. Because later on, hihimay-himayin mo pa yan isa-isa, yun na yung tatawagin mong um, tactical plans or your operational plans. Yun yung specific na gagawin mo per step or step by step to achieve your strategy or to achieve your goal. And next, strategic plan development. So after you create your strategy, i-develop mo na siya, okay? You write it down, you take it note, i-formalize mo na siya. And then, you execute the strategy and manage the performance. In executing, you have to complement this with monitoring so that you know if everything is under control, if everything is according to what was planned, and if everything is okay, di ba? Okay pa ba na tumatakbo itong plano natin together with the company as a whole? Okay? So you also have to assess. Aside from the assessing the company, you also assess the people involved, di ba? Um, how are they doing as far as the strategy is concerned? Or how are they doing as far as their specific tasks are concerned? Are they doing it effectively and efficiently? Meron bang mga rework? Meron bang mga repair? Are there um, losses? Diba? Ayan. And of course, in your management accounting and in planning, okay, uh, the different planning topics or planning tool, I could say, Na related sa management accounting mo, of course, you have four basic. And dito papasok si forecasting, you have your CVP analysis, financial planning, and capital budgeting. These are part of your strategic planning. Okay? Although sometimes, let us say for CVP analysis, from time to time, you can use that to plan your next fiscal year. So that is used for tactical planning. But for forecasting, sometimes you do um, advanced forecast. Although that forecast can still be Altered, kasi nga forecast pa lang naman yan, hindi naman natin sinabi na forecast, that's as is. Okay? So, let us say forecast for 2022, middle 2021, we can still adopt changes, if any. Pero ang matching talaga dito would be your capital budgeting. Because you're actually, actually planning, number one, a purchase of PPE and how long are you going to use it. So, kapag pumalya ka sa capital budgeting mo, if you remember, Decisions on your capital budgeting is very hard to reverse. Hindi mo basta-basta, ay, ibabalik ko tong PPE kasi hindi pala siya productive kapag dating sa production area. Di ba? Kapag nasa production floor siya. Parang karamihan pa rin pala ng process, yung labor force mo pa rin ang gumagawa. So, you cannot re reverse that. Okay? Hindi mo pwedeng ibabalik mo yun eh, nagamit mo naman na. Okay? What else? Let us say your a decision is to buy a building or to create a building instead of renting initially, di ba? E tumatakbo na yung operation mo. It will be very hard to reverse na magre-renta ka na lang at iiwan mo yung pinapagawa mong building. Hindi naman pwede yun. Okay? So, again, your strategic plan is hard to reverse. So, please be um, careful um, to do your strategic plan with... Mm, uh, with a lot of caution. And of course, when you do your strategic plan, you involve entire organization. Your managers, okay? Who else? Your employees, your rank and file, even them. Because your rank and file are actually your first hand or your frontliners to your uh, to your customer. Sila yung nakakaalam ano ba yung gusto ni customer, ano yung ayaw ni customer, ano yung nakita ni customer na hindi maganda dun sa product. Sila yung unang-unang makakaalam ng impression ni customer. So, they should know and they should be part of the strategic plan. Okay? And of course, don't forget your leader. So, si leader, um, siya yung maglilid sa atin or siya yung mag-guide sa atin para tayo ay maging okay at para maging successful ang ating strategic planning. Okay?